Good evening, everybody. Welcome, welcome to Brooklyn Woman and Pal McGoo, a.k.a. Grandma Elsie. This is going to be, this is my second review of the Life Hacks NIV Holy Bible. Okay, let me just tell you about this Bible. This Bible is so awesome. I am going to do a teaching on subjects, topics that is in here now as you can see i have blocked off some um topics to study over here now i finally went through this bible read some chapters and went through some of the topics and it even teaches you how to create a faith builder journal and it also has, what else it has in here that I can share? It also shares fellowship, intergeneration. Well, we know what that means. If you don't know what it means, look at it, look it up in a dictionary. Now, in my first review of this Bible, I had someone dislike my video. To all the crows and strolls and bowls out there that don't appreciate what people do don't even bother to look at the video just take and go past it you don't have to dislike something you know it's, it you know just leave it alone it's not for you don't even touch it okay let's get back to this beautiful bible it also is how to prevent obedience from becoming legalism and it also has four ways to develop trust in God. You know, this Bible is so awesome that you don't want to put it down. You barely want to write in it. I took notes and put it in a notebook in my planner. We also have, um, it tells you why you need more sleep. And that's Psalms 4. Verse 8, and the habit is rest. Your body must rest. And it goes into page 634. Let's look at 634, people. 634. Let's see what we find here about sleep. 634. I mean, this Bible is marvelous. I, I just love this Bible. And it says, How to Avoid Being Called a Fool. And that's Psalms 14, verse 1, Habit, Developing Wisdom. Because you don't want to be a fool, you know. And it has 16, Um, how should I say it? Well, if you have this Bible, you can look it up. 16 things so you don't be um, called a fool. Where was that going? 634. As you can see, um, it has different, different topics. And this is what I love about this Bible. Kat did a review on it also, and she has it in turquoise. And it's a beautiful turquoise. I have it in this color because at first, this what this is all. This all that Barnes and Nova had was this color. This color. I'm thinking about getting it in turquoise because I love bright colors. And this one can be used for one of my students that participate in the course. Cause I'm I want to make this a course like, um different things to do. It also has 20 prompts for spiritual journaling. See, it's went from one um, topic to the next journaling. And look, 20 spiritual journal things. It says, this week I was most blessed by it. And you can start your journal by looking at 20 of these or even more if you know any more for yourself. Then you have Tips to deal with anxiety. 
Look at it, my, my people. 20 and stuff like that. So, he goes, uh, uh, it has a whole, it, ha it has a whole section about journaling. It's tell you how to do your, how to look at yourself. Um, what else? Yes, this is the same. This is prayer. Okay. Self-assessment on prayer. Um, are you really praying like you should and stuff like that? I mean, this Bible, if you don't have this Bible, get it. Get it. I hope the ladies that want to participate in the teaching course that I'm going to be teaching out of this Bible, um, the course is going to be free for now. The only thing you have to do is purchase the Bible. That's all you'll have to do. But, you know, mostly people in this day and time don't want to do nothing positive. Everybody likes to do things negative. You get like a handful of people that want to do something right. And so, as you can see, I was reading this. What prayer will God refuse to hear? Now, I wrote notes from here into my planner notepad. And this is all of it. And it has so much to offer. And this is three requirements to be a servant leader. That means in order to be a leader, you must also be a server. That means you must serve others. You cannot look for just to be a leader if you don't know how to serve. Okay? That's what people's problem is there in town. Nobody wants to be a servant. Everybody wants to be a leader. And we also have six tips for sharing God's word. Evangelism. I mean, this Bible has so much. It's really popping. This Bible is awesome. It says, test yourself to see if you are living like a believer. And all of that, all of it, all of it here. So I have all the, I have as much as I can have section out. Over here is meditating on our spiritual blessings in Christ. Meditating. I got little tabs. I didn't even finish all the tabs because I just be studying it. And it's so exciting, this Bible. And it says, do not. It's a do not for Christian living. It's mean being obedient. So you ought to read this whole thing. And it even tells you practical takeaways at the end. Obedience required. We add these six items to our do not do list. So as you can see, do not lie. Do not get angry. And all of this. So as you can see, this Bible, I'm reviewing it because I promised to do a second review once I go completely through it. And I went through it, did some um, studying in it, and also had says how to find motivation to change. And I mean, like, if you don't love this Bible, something wrong. I mean, I have, she reads the truth. I love it. But this Bible really helps you live a Christian life. It helps you. You see, and it even has something self-assessment on understanding scriptures. You see what I'm talking about? And down here, it it's like drill down questions. It gives you questions inside this Bible. And then it's a practical takeaway again. So this Bible is very, 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 very awesome. And in the back, it has end notes. And what else we have back here? Subjects. It has subjects. See, this is what I want to be teaching. Subjects. I want to teach the subjects out of this Bible. And I, um, teach a class on it. Because these subjects are so important to us as Christians. That we don't even know. 
we don't even know that we have to live as a Christian the right way. Not perfect, but the right way. So this is it for this Bible. And as you can see, I've been blocking off some subjects and I've been studying them. But you could do a full course on like rest, prayer, all of the things that God requires us to be obedient with him. So this is all from Brooklyn Woman Empowerment Group, a.k.a. Grandma Elsie. And this is Life Hacks, NIV, Holy Bible. And I hope you enjoyed this video and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this to my channel and god bless you and if you don't like my video whoever don't like the video god bless you and i love you anyway because i will know who you are when i go in on, on the laptop and find out okay god bless have a good evening